course, when Ron Major's career started, Twitter was still in its infancy. <laughs> the hashtag, <laughs> thanks, Ron. <laughs> and he has joined us uh, here in the booth. And yeah, uh, since he started covering the news here in Chicago in 1981, look at all the playoff appearances, division titles, and the like. And yes, a triple crown winner last year as well. As Jordy Mercer, it's a high fly. Deep left center and caught. Whew, that was close. Yeah, that could have been a very short lived uh, trip to the booth, Ron. Had that got out of here, there would have been all kinds of karma working against you, man. No, no, no. I was blowing hard with the wind coming in from left field. There you go. I mean, get it down, get it down. Well, congratulations on a wonderful career. Oh, thanks. And uh, thanks. how are you feeling these days about? You know, I, I, what I say about it is I, I'm sort of glad I stayed this long. I'm really glad that I know it's time. And how many of us in, in, in our business get to go out when we want, the way we want? You're right. It just doesn't happen very often. No long. regrets, no, yeah. No. Just, you know what, Nobody Ron? pushing you out the no, door. No. <laughs> You're the David Ross of uh, TV News. <laughs> yeah, kind of. He's having a great year. He really is. Isn't he? I love it, too. And I think he's going to stick with the retirement thing because he's starting to get asked. Maybe uh, yeah, he might want to come back. And, no, and, no, no, no. And, and, and I'm with it. I, I mean, I really believe that if you have the opportunity to do it long enough that you know it's time, you know it's right. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says. It's the 2-0 to the pitcher lock, and it is in for a strike. Walking up here today to see you guys, I'm thinking, Wow, high 40s, no snow, great day for football. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I heard at the University of Wisconsin graduation today, uh, snow flurries in Madison. Wow. Yeah. Zobrist will get locked. So tell us about your uh, your post-retirement plans. What, what's next? Well, I'm still very active in the thoroughbred industry. We race a few, and we do a lot of breeding, and, and breeding is really the business part of it. It's really hard to make money racing, uh, but breeding you can run like a business, and you hope to make money, and we have over the last few years. We've been very fortunate, and uh, I'll be more active in that. There have always been some things I wasn't able to go to, some sales and some time spent at the farm and that kind of stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. But also, you know, I've worked nights for 50 years, so I plan on going out to dinner and not caring how long it takes. <laughs> Nice. I don't have to get back for something at 10 o'clock. Well, uh, uh, do you like, uh, are you a TV fan? Would you watch, uh, will you get, get locked in? And well, I mean, the problem for me is since I've worked nights, I don't get to watch primetime yeah. TV. So I tip for a long time. I've been either a person who recorded stuff and watched later time shifted in one way or another once that ability came along. And, and now, boy, everybody does that. And, and now when you look at all the new series that are coming out online, that's a big problem for broadcast television these days. And the other thing that's a big problem is people don't want to commit to something until they know it's a hit, and then they can binge watch it. Right. People have been binge watching the Cubs live so far this year. It's been a great start. Arietta, no hits allowed through three. Ron, congrats. Thanks for stopping Thanks by. Thanks very much. Nice to see you guys. Congratulations, Ron. Take care. Thanks. I appreciate it.